What's up guys, this is Ray and today we'll be talking about the 1996 Japanese movie Supermarket Woman, directed by Itami Juzo and starring Miyamoto Nobuko and Sugawa Masahiko. Now for me, the most eye-catching part of Supermarket Woman is the director Itami Juzo. He's made movies like Tampopo, A Taxing Woman, you know, and Supermarket Woman was one of his final films. I'm not sure if it's his absolute final film, but it was one definitely towards the end of his career before his death. The story of Supermarket Woman, as you can tell by the title, it takes place in a supermarket, but it's actually very layered beyond that. It's about, uh, it's about this guy named Goro who runs his own supermarket and his supermarket is failing. It doesn't do very well. It doesn't have a really good reputation and a brand new supermarket just opened uh, really nearby. And this new supermarket has all these sales and bargains and Goro is in deep trouble. But one day he encounters a childhood friend by the name of Hanako. And uh, she basically tells him as a housewife, kind of like the stuff that he's doing around what makes a good supermarket and what he needs to do in order to make his supermarket survive. And like I said, the story sounds kind of simple at first. When you just take a look at the synopsis, it seems, you know, you're, uh, it might seem like a typical run in the mill type of comedy of sorts. This, I think this movie is more of a comedy. It has a lot of comedic moments, but at the same time, there are many layers to this movie's storytelling. And that's one of the reasons I absolutely adore this movie. So when it comes to the positives of Supermarket Woman, you know, I gotta first start off with the performances. Miyamoto Nobuko, every time she's on camera, especially if it's an Itami Juzo movie, it's she's absolutely adorable, she's magnetic, and she doesn't fail to entertain. And paired up with Sugawa Masahiko, who plays Goro, they have a ton of chemistry between each other, and they're just so funny when they're on screen. And the way they bounce back and forth, you know, it leads to my next thing I want to mention is that the direction, the ways a lot of these scenes of dialogue. Are, are put together and there are a lot of m long takes that feature these characters just rambling back and forth between each other and everything is perfectly framed from the way the way the camera is to where the characters are positioned and the way everything just flows together everything just comes together perfectly in this movie. I love the way this movie exceeds expectations, especially someone may have just by reading the synopsis. I mean, it takes place in a supermarket. It's about two rival supermarkets competing against each other. Everything from just thinking about new business strategies and even corruption from within the higher ups. This movie has a lot of things going on. Now let's go back to the characters, you know, Hanako and Goro. Starting off with Hanako, absolutely, you know, love this character. She, you know, she starts off as this housewife. Of sorts. Well, she's not exactly a housewife, just because her husband had passed away sometime before uh, the story has started. But you know, she knows exactly what makes a good supermarket because you know she is a freaking customer at supermarkets. She knows what a, a good supermarket is. She knows what practices a supermarket shouldn't do uh, if they want to uh, keep attracting customers. And she's just very street smart. She's so clever. She does. She just knows. She's just on it. And you have Gore, who's kind of like a sleazy and even lazy boss type. Like he doesn't want to take risks. He he wants to survive. He wants to come out on top. But at first, he you know anything that Han brings up to him like you know you, you shouldn't be doing this this is a bad practice why why don't you tell the staff this all he, he all, the thing that he keeps falling back uh, as it, to as, as an excuse is that you know this is a normal business practice everyone does this you know he doesn't want it seems like his character is just too scared to take risks at least in the beginning and it's obvious that you know Hanako even though she's a housewife she has a better sense of business than the bo this boss of the supermarket and you know this that's actually mentioned by one of the characters passing by in this movie and you know it, 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 you can see the divide also what I think is interesting you can see the divide uh, between men and women in terms of where they're usually situated in a company I think a lot of you know I've, it hasn't changed much nowadays as far as where men and women are kind of divided in, in a Japanese company but you can kind of see it kind of brought to light hilariously in this movie like all the all the big wigs of the supermarket where, uh, of course Goro included and even his board of directors I think that's at least what their roles are they're all old men who don't want to change who just want to you know who are looking for the bet the quick and easiest way to make a buck and then you have Hanako and her team of housewives I mean there are a lot of housewives who work as part-timers in the supermarket and even you know you see a lot uh, pretty much 99% of the customers in the supermarket are women and I think it's funny because you know it looks like 
you know, it's made to look like that the men have more power over the women in this in the society that supermarket women paints. However, what's funny, it's the it's the women who have all the pulling power, who have all the influence, uh, you know, as the people running the show in the background. And all the supporting characters were entertaining. And I just enjoyed the way Hanako would interact with all the staff, you know, trying to get trying to learn how the system works, the, the system of how this, everything inside the supermarket works, and also learning how to talk to each of the staff members, especially when you know she's just the new kid on the block and she has to interact with a lot of professionals you know especially when it comes to the back room you have the the butcher and you have the you have the uh, sashimi maker and you know they're masters at their profession and they're they're well damn aware of it and so hanako has to clash with all these egos in order to make the supermarket work another thing i want to point out is that who the music is so fun in this movie and it's very well synchronized to everything that's happening on screen i mean one one particular scene that comes to mind is that when uh, when hanako is trying to track down a thief in the supermarket at night and just the music that plays while this scene is happening it's a bunch of drums i think it's congas kind of going kind of playing as hanako is moving on uh, sneaking around the supermarket trying to track this thief down you know there's a lot of fun moments like this and when it comes to the negatives of supermarket women nothing to say you know, I absolutely enjoy this movie from beginning to end. Uh, you know, overall, what to have to say about Supermarket Women, an absolute great time. I definitely recommend it to watch, especially if you're a fan of Tommy Juzo's other movies. This movie not only brings uh, an underdog com comedic story uh, for us to enjoy, but also talks about, in an interesting way, you know, uh, gender roles in a Japanese company uh, or society, if you want to even extend it a little bit further. And even, you know, dare I say, expose some of the shady practices that supermarkets might still be doing, but they don't actually explicitly reveal to the customers. And and adding the last bit of flavor is, you know, the a story of business rivalries and the kind of corruption and backstabbing and scandals that can come along with it. And I think definitely if you haven't been uh, to a supermarket in Japan, I think this movie shows a lot about how an experience at a Japanese supermarket could be, especially if you compare it to supermarkets back home. Granted, I think a lot of these, uh, the, the events in this movie are kind of blown out of proportion proportion for the sake of entertainment but you do see a lot of realism when showing how staff would interact with the customers and whatnot but yes those are my thoughts on supermarket women what did you guys think please let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe and by all means please know you can support Ega man ray via patreon from as little as one dollar and that's about it for me guys and as always everyone thank you so much for watching hope to catch you all again in the next video take it easy